It's Kirsty Lee Davis with the break. And a big feature in... Oh, is that eight ball going to drop? No, it's going to sit. An interesting split to start with, but a real feature of... Kirsty's performance in the semi-final against Megan Proctor was this break. It didn't always give her great splits, but it was so, so reliable, successful the vast majority of the time. It's a really good cut break she's got, and it's a decent first opportunity. If you just look at the balls above the triangle line, the yellows are already gone, but there is a problem on yellows. And there's a couple of problems on reds. I don't think you can go reds. I just don't think they're there. I think it has to be yellows. Well, that is a good first shot. I think she was planning just to come down the right-hand side of the table, play the short position rather than doing anything more at the bottom here. The yellow does go bottom left. No, she couldn't couldn't get down there because she had too much angle. So she's played the cannon. And it's actually worked out okay. She's on the one the top left. It's not an easy bit of queuing, but she has another shot and she's popped open her ball. Yeah, I don't think she'll mind this. I think that's pretty much one of the... One of the things she was expecting. <coughs> I won't drop for her. I think it's going to be the double, and then it's all the reds at the bottom are fine. It's just one more at the top. She's hoping that if the double doesn't land, it at least blocks the pocket, even if it would be a, a simple enough loss of turn. Tricky plant she was taking on. I thought she'd get closer than that. So, tricky opening frame here. The layout looked good, but it's not really proved to be. Because she's had a couple of stabs at it. And now Emma's going to get her own go here. straight shouldn't really prove to be a, prob a problem she just needs to get on the one at the top of the table yeah and doesn't try and do too much this is the shot though the closer you get to this one the easier it is to control this one can go wrong Just a reminder that this final is a race to eight. Some high standards to live up to in terms of the previous Women's Pro Series final. The one between Amy Beecham and Harriet Haynes last night was absolutely spectacular. Amazing advert for the women's game. Eight, six, it finished. Lovely shot from Emma. Wasn't perfect on that red, but controlled it really well and, of course, made a very good pot. One nil Wookie. Well, 
Oh, this is a, oh. a nasty, nasty layout. Oh. Well, yeah. I said that we could see this one, maybe see a flow. We're not going to see a flow here. This is, this is bad. Horrible. Keep an eye on the match clock for this one. Yeah, well, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna log it. Yeah. We've just ticked into 44, so we essentially started the frame at bang on 45 minutes. If we're still in the 40s when this finishes, I'll be absolutely blown away. Kirstley Davis wanted to try and do something. Well, she has. Yeah, that's not a good result. She's got a colour set. That's the only thing you could say. The opening up of the shot didn't work. I mean, obviously missed the pot by a distance, but didn't get the breakout at all. Yeah, there's no way she continues to go. Emma and her nature is incredibly attacking, but even even the Wookiee's not going to want any part of this. I can't imagine. Just almost has to chip away a little bit at that, at that iceberg by the right centre pocket. Well, is Emma going? Well, I wonder if there's a, a four ball plant in there somehow. Doesn't look like it. It looks like it's just off to me, but... Well, not sure she wanted to put either of those two, actually. I don't think she's been going here. I think they've just gone in. Can she flick this yellow she's closest to off the side rail and off the yellow by the middle pocket? No, not from here. Well, <laughs> nearly. I don't think that's a bad result, in a weird way. Well, it's now a five-ball plant, but I think it's on. Yeah, it definitely goes now. I don't think it did before. That was what I was sort of thinking with that inverted comma shot choice. Is it might even if you don't make it, it might have some positive effects. Well, I can't believe Kirsty Lee's not gone in off there. It's still not come out nice for it. She disturbed that perfectly set five ball plant at least, so could call it a second prize. Does she continue to go? Because if she pots it top left, she's flying into that cluster again. She was playing to pot that. No, just float it and kind of ask a question of Emma. What does she want to do? She wanted to make sure she couldn't leave her a loss of turn bottom right, which she's done. I think the loss of turn is on bottom right. Not from here. Not play the furthest yellow out? Well, that was on. just to the bottom left had just gone a little bit awkward it's the wry smile from Emmett these are a real pain hmm he's been a little unlucky there honestly it's really not the frame that she enjoys to play she just wants them open as far and wide as possible she actually played a really good shot to get to that stage but the yellow is just offsetting as a plant by the bottom left was not in that particular script. Mm. Reds are still a pain. Yeah, I'm just wondering if she can just reach the cushion without touching the reds and just pop off the cushion if not I mean you can manipulate the pocket a lot here it looks like she's she's going to play the plant and, and move it out as in the cannon and move it out that red going there is a problem I don't know if it slides underneath the yellow I didn't think it did she's going to want to hope it does she can maybe use the red that's already there to bump the yellow away but She's running out of options. Only three reds left to pot. And she's not going to make the pot. And Emma Cunningham has them all waiting, I think. 
bottom right's the big question. Yeah, as long as she can pop the yellow off the red, it opens up the pocket for the eight ball. If not, then it does need to work the eight ball out. But you can get yourself low on the yellow. The yellow definitely goes. It's just she can play into the, the eight ball or, or open up the pocket either or. If you're going into it, you'd like to go into it now, and obviously she can't because she's landed this side of the red. Those first two shots aren't great. Not an angle on the one to bottom right now to open up the eight ball, unless you play it off the red, if that's on. But even if that's on, then you've got to try and get from bottom left across to high of the eight ball, which isn't easy. Or well, she did have the angle. She had more angle than it looked. Yeah, that'll do perfectly. Almost ended up snookered behind the red, which would have been very tough. Oh, it's a little bit hesitant, that, from Emma, which is not like her. She could have played that so much more forcefully. This is tough, all of a sudden. For 2-0. Oh. Can't get much closer. Yeah, it was just that positional shot onto the eight. It was a touch hesitant. You know, she could have played it with a couple of feet more pace and the cue ball's in the middle of the table, and I don't think she can miss that eight ball. Yeah, the whole visit was just a little bit... It was okay, but it wasn't oh. the way to keep it clean, but getting might not get punished. It's getting edgy out there. Both ladies feeling how big a frame this is. Trouble's close. Oh, what a shot. Needs still, another. Yeah, still got a red to knock in, but that was a fabulous shot from Kirsty. Going to be 2 0 Wookie. the treble not the double simply because it's double the cue ball's going so much wider but anyway can't make the one along the bottom cushion so it is going to be 2-0 anyway really wasn't anywhere near Emma's best they got a good win over Danielle Randall 5-4 in that one and a 6-5 victory over Harriet Haynes so she just warmed up as the tournament's gone on well, she got away with the one against Aid. oh massively uh, Aid was 3-1 and should have gone 4-1 and then should have won the next one as well. So she won 4 1 or 4 2 and ended up 3 3. And then the six right shootout that she lost, obviously. There's that massive cut break for Kirsty Lee. It's just been such an essential part of her tournament journey. It's not a good layout again, though. No, it isn't. Kirsty came through Chloe Smithy 7 2, Becky Watkins 7 2. Amy Beecham 5-3 for Megan Proctor 6-5. You watched that one against Champs and that was actually, I think, a really impressive win for Kirsty, particularly because, well, the match was a lot like this. It was. Both players had to, to grind and graft it. We thought that would be a, a wide open game where both players are making a ton of finishes because that's what they're, they're both used to doing. But it was anything but. But Champs missed a good opportunity maybe a couple at the back end and Kirsty didn't. That was the difference in the match in the end. It's not worked at all trying to go into them, open things up, make something happen. Interesting to see what either player do if we keep getting layouts like this. Do they change, switch sides, do something different? I'm not sure we'll see either player go front ball. But
Not got going yet as Kirsty. Not sure where she's going anyway, but yeah, this sort of spins around the side and back of the pocket here. Yeah, just too much jaw, too much pace. Still some working out to do on reds here for Emma. Showing some good control is Emma. Against her nature. Wants to go, but doing the right thing. The right thing for the moment. 2 0 up already. Don't make it easy for Kirsty Lee. Yeah, keep her. You know, struggling. Kirsty's having a really tough time in this match so far. And Emma is more than happy just to keep her. Just stumbling around without getting into any rhythm. She might be more tempted this time. Still has to find a cannon. Oh, I say has to find a cannon. Does, does the red by the yellow go bottom right? Probably not. I think she was trying to go into it there. Just got a touch thick. Yeah, needed that much thinner. I think Emma has to play safe here. Just don't leave Kirsty a position where she can play into the other yellow with the yellow in the open and she's okay. I think that's going to help the Wookiee that's not gone in. Although does Kirsty have an angle here to potentially pot and go into the yellow? Not natural. Definitely work an angle. She's on the cushion, might hurt her actually. 
I mean, it depends exactly. I mean, this will, if she really throws it, it, will, it really hits it. It'll throw wide. I don't think it'll quite throw wide enough, so you just have to get some side on it as well. Oh, oh too much. Oh, you can't miss it by any closer. That's a great effort. Deserved a little bit better. Good old fashioned hit and hope for Kirsty Lee there. You, know, it's, you do not see that very often at no. uh, elite level pool, but that really was just absolutely hit it as hard as you can and hope for the best. I, I don't mind it, to be honest. I don't think there's anything else she could do. There's no value in a safety there. I think she just had to. Oh, absolutely. I'm, I'm with it. With it 100%. Three nil. I'm counting him. Here's another one. Maybe a slightly better layout this time, but it's still a little congested. It'll be Kirsty Lee with a chance. Well, every yellow's got a pocket. The reds at the bottom are a little bit awkward. You can see there on your the replay. Kind of blocking each other. Oh. Not happened for Curse Lily there. Emma's blocked the pocket off with her first shot. She wanted to be on this one at the bottom, but not by moving the red. I think the red at the bottom now passes the yellow and, and can be played off the yellow. So that first shot actually may have just given Kirsty Lee the chance, although she might go into it again. No, she tried to avoid it, so it tells us it does go. And she can open up the other red. This is a great opportunity now. All of a sudden these have unfolded.
Extension code. No. Yeah, just got myself in a really good position and then just let it go. And this, unless you can find a miracle shot. Oh, it's... Oh. Well, it may as well be end of frame, I think. Yeah. It was very nearly the worst possible outcome for Kirsty Lee Davis and it almost would have summed up her match so far. Everything you feel that could go wrong kind of is. Yeah, this should be 4 0 now. Nothing in the way. Yellow still passes the 8 ball. Red's gone to the middle of the top cushion just to give it a touch of leeway. Simple eight ball then for that 4-0. Into the second half of the match on the clock as well. It, it just was a struggle. And she's starting to feel like she's on the verge here of a big win. Kirsty Lee Davis eventually gets a nice split off her break. The one thing that's deserted her, a ball. Everything that could go wrong for the Welsh Wizardess is doing and you have to feel for her at this point she's almost she'll feel like she's not even played in the final at this rate just one red that's half awkward but the rest are just there aren't they just that one on the left hand side above the centre pocket oh got too much into this might just have to be the plant now but even that's a little bit awkward not a great shot from Emma. <coughs> oh, she could just feather off the red and sneak through to the middle. That's a good shot. Judge that one really well. not want to be Chinese on this eight ball. Looking to play the red to the bottom right. But this is awkward queuing. Got to dig herself out again. To be pleased she has her extension. She playing here. I think this one cuts through the gap. Oh, <laughs> what a shot! That what a is. shot! <laughs> Much harder pot, obviously, on the angle, but you could get to the cue ball. That's the reason why. Still not a good angle on the one to left centre, but she's digging and she's digging hard. Just wonder if there's an angle of a few cushions here to land behind the red. No, she's just going to accept. Pretty thin cut. She just made one, she has to make another. Well, 
wouldn't you know it. Maybe Kirsty Lee Davis is not done just yet. That finish you feel like would have broken the back of the match. 4-1. Still time in it. Right. It was going out more awkward than it needed to. Still okay. Got the one to the bottom left if needed. Got the one bottom right that she's nearest to as well. If she's see how she's feeling, that's the one that can control. Yeah, good sign she's taking this on, I think. Once she feels it's certain, just speeds up a little bit, just saving every second. It, the clock's not really a problem for her right now, but it can become a problem. Mm. The splits are not helping the girls tonight. Another tricky one. Just wondering, this isn't the Worst opportunity on yellows. It looks awkward. She's trying to stay on the yellow to bottom right to have an angle to go into the red. I think the eight ball's just in the way. Problem is, to pull the cue ball back, you're getting too straight on it and then you don't get the angle. Doesn't look to be on the yellow to bottom right. Well, thinking about a very off angle three ball plant. I mean, she is very aggressive. This is because vintage th Wookie. This it really is because she's popping the red into play here. Mm, maybe a step too far that one. Hasn't popped the red into play at least though. Well, it's in enough. I mean, it now goes. True. I read it at the other end of the table is the one that doesn't really fit the pattern here. You can't really leave it to a last ball. Mm, trying to go up for it now. Not as close as she'd like, but is on it. But has to be cued well. Touch straight on it.
inside the final 15 minutes and an opportunity to go four clear once again. has been much more like it from Emma. Oh, is she still all right? With just enough gap. It's not a nice shot, but I think she's playing away as well. It's, if it was straight, it makes it even worse, but she's playing away. She's a good chance to make this. It's just the cue ball is going to be running very wild. It's in and the cue ball is safe. Again, dry. I tell you what, if Emma's got a red here, these aren't terrible. It's not a brilliant split, but reds aren't bad. Yeah, they're actually not bad at all. Especially now. Question whether they needed to play that cannon, but it's not done too much damage. that well. Obviously needs to develop the eight ball. Would love to do that sooner rather than later. I think she may have to wait until a penultimate red. Possibly even the last one. Got the obvious red to do it with. It's the lower one of the two together. Oh, I think she's looking to hit a gap here. Straight enough on this red that she can just drop it in. Hits the gap. Here's the angle. That's not ideal. It was always going to be awkward leaving this one here. You were never going to be nice on it. Best case scenario was going to be a little straighter or hampered or, or what she's got. If she's not hitting the jaw though, she can find the line for the eight ball. Just like that. Brilliant. Best visit of the match from Emma Cunningham. Two frames away from sealing it on the scoreboard. Plenty of tactical frames, so it's more than likely going to head towards zero on the match clock. Emma would like to get it done, if possible. Two eight. She has made a ball. Another one of those, though. <laughs> nothing on here. Don't chase a bad one. Well, not that she can from here. There's nothing on. Always something on with the walkie. <laughs> Always something on. It's 
So 15 seconds shot clock just about to the fun for Kirsty Lee Davis. It's not been a particularly fun final for it. She'll feel like she hasn't really been involved in a match, which is strange to say because she's been very involved in the match because it's been... She's had a lot of shots, <coughs> yeah. a lot, A lot of visits to the table. But she won't feel like she's had much of a fair crack in terms of number of chances. Just hasn't been able to work the tactical scenario to earn the chances to find the rhythm. Three reds all pick each other apart quite nicely. Eight ball is accessible to a couple of pockets. As Emma Cunningham eyes the hill. Slightly off angle on that shot, I think. So I had to just nudge into the eight and yellow. It may be that she had to just cannon the eight ball out a bit. Oh, that's brilliant. Yeah, she's flying now. That was hampered queuing and awkward and just got it right. Still awkward here. It's got to go long, so not a guarantee, but the way she's playing right now, I fancy her to get it. Oh, not quite. I think she was a little bit rushed on the shot clock there, in all honesty. Kirsty won't take too long over these. Doesn't need to either. They're all there. Oh. It from Kirsty. Towards the end of this match, her breaks deserted her. Just to almost add insult to injury, it feels like. Yeah, she hit one monster break, but the splits on the rest have been awkward, unkind, and difficult. She's not had the lion's share of chances off it. Miss from Emma means at least Kirsty Lee gets the chance here, but there is one bad red. She's going to try and deal with it straight away. a bit rushed for her as well. She's just kind of trying to flow, trying to find a rhythm, find, trying to get something going. She knows she needs to be at pace four behind with under six to play. Time. Just. Just. It's actually in good shape it. Worth the extra time it took on that shot. Mm, 
tooth in this time. Might have to come down the table. Yeah, don't you see in the world? Certainly not for someone who pots as well as Emma does. That's not ideal though. It's very thin. It's very awkward if she takes it long. That was closer. Yeah, that looked over to me. Well, no one in the arena <laughs> moved, so... Oh, maybe there's a slight issue with the, the, the shot clock then, because that certainly was quick. Yeah, that definitely wasn't 15. Referee and timer seem okay with it. Yeah. Oh, not quite. Finally in position <laughs> on the eight ball. <laughs> First time in the visit, she was in perfect position. Wouldn't you know, she didn't get there. Not that it will matter. No, not with 3.29 left. Oh, shot. Need to know that. Yeah, she's not 100% comfy on this shot clock at all, is she? No, the 15's catching her out, but she can smile about it. But it'll be slightly irritating her that she can't smash through the the door. You know, she knows in her heart of hearts she's won this match and Kirstley knows in her heart of hearts she's lost this match but it's not how Emma wants to to finish it guess she's out here playing on a five second match clock oh we not to be so I can roll this one in not a shot she usually likes, but no choice off the bottom cush. Lovely. <laughs> it's a race to wait. They're not. They don't realise it's a race to wait. So Kirsty <laughs> Lee's conceding. <laughs> <laughs> Emma, Emma can see the funny side. Kirsty isn't. That's why I think Emma was actually getting more th laughing so much before was because I think she thought it was a race to seven as well and uh, th she thought she kept missing the match ball. Your Women's Pro Series 2 champion is Emma Cunningham.